Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to the latest day of my 100 day green smoothie challenge. I do apologize for not putting up a video yesterday, um, especially over the last few days because things have been very emotional, especially with what's been going on in our nation. Um, it has been just emotionally draining and there's just and it's really affected me personally because it's really affected not only me personally but it's affected people in my life and I will be talking a little about that more later on but I'm here at my job so I'm not gonna record here at my job uh, but I will talk a little bit more about it a little later on in the video so uh, stay tuned and stick around because I got a lot of shit to say today so I am off work right now. I'm on the uh, streetcar and I'm heading to the max to go home because I'm going to go work out. But I did spend a couple hours at work and I was reflecting on what I, on the story that I was going to tell you for this video. Um, as you know, sometimes I'll go to the Portland Community Center, East Portland Community Center, and just work out. And um, that day that I was working out. Um, I had to get my frustrations out, but it just seems that under a new administration, um, people tend to get a little bolder with their hate and no one is safe from that, not even little kids. Let me explain why. This is the story that I'm about to tell you. So here I am, I'm uh, getting my cardio on, I'm working out on the treadmill, right? and. I overhear this older couple in their late 50s, early 60s, and they were singling out the kids who are the troublemakers, like, you know, like Crusty Wolf Birds actually do. And, but they weren't singling out just any kids. The way they were singling out the kids just really upset me. As a matter of fact, when they were doing this, they were using, um, how do I put this? Racial slurs. And the more that they were doing it, the more uncomfortable I became. I couldn't even uh, go through my whole workout. As a matter of fact, I mean, they weren't even saying the N word, but their intentions were not good. And why do I say that? Well, you see, when you see a bunch of kids being unruly or what you think is unruly, um, you tend to point out the kids who you think are the troublemakers. They weren't pointing out to the white kids. They weren't pointing the, out the white kids at all. They were pointing out the kids with the brown skin. And they're like, oh yeah, I called it, you know, that one little black kid in the Superman shorts is actually going to tip that thing over. And when that little kid didn't, they got disappointed almost. And that actually really bugged me but they just kept doing it and doing it and doing it and just pointing at the kids saying oh that one's going to be a troublemaker that one's going to be a troublemaker and that one's going to be a troublemaker and it wasn't the white kids that they were pointing at they were pointing at the kids of color and as i was working out i was thinking about my two nephews who are half mexican and they were just they were just born about a couple months ago and I was thinking to myself, when they get to be that age, they're not going to be safe from racism or hatred. And, and they're just going to be little kids just minding their own business. Now, what these two people saw were just targets for their racial assumptions. Me, I just saw a bunch of kids, no matter what skin color they were, just having fun on a hot day and just trying to stay cool. And to put those assumptions on kids, that's just, I don't know, not right. And it's wrong. And, well, after about 50 minutes of working out and enduring these people laughing and pointing at the black kids who weren't doing anything wrong, these kids were no younger than six or seven. So, I mean, it made me think, who the hell did these people think they, they were doing that? So I just cut my workout short 
Normally I work out an hour on the treadmill. And finally I just had enough. So I stormed out of the gym because I knew that if I had said something, I would have gotten in trouble. And I didn't want to get in trouble. So what I did was that I went to the front desk and I said, do you allow this type of behavior going on at your community center? And they said, no. And I explained what was going on. And, uh, well, the person that I told this to, they walked in right in the middle of their conversation and said, we're doing it. And they were escorted out of the community center. So the moral of the story is when you overhear something or see something, stand in the face of hate, especially when it's little kids, because little kids don't deserve it. And that is my story. So now we're going to go on to the rest of the day. So I thought I would stop for lunch on the way home. So for lunch, I'm having a venti water along with a smoked protein, or well, a smoked turkey protein box that's 24 grams. And this is what I'm going to be eating before I go home and I get ready to go work out. So I was thinking before I head to the gym, I just stopped by Target and I'm going to have a little uh, chocolate chip Luna protein bar just to give myself that extra bit of energy because I'm going to be working out for a few hours. And I'm going to get that extra sugar boost, even though this has no sugar in it. So I just changed my shirt and have my little protein bar. And now I'm going to the community center for a few hours and just going and working out. Um, I missed my workout yesterday, so I'm going to do cardio and then I'm actually, well, actually 10 minutes of cardio, then I'm going to go to circuit training and then I'm going to finish strong with about an hour of cardio. And yes, I'm going to be sweating my ass off, but you know what? That's okay because I need to. So... After everything that has happened over the past couple of days, which I will be talking a little bit later on the video, you you already heard about what happened at the community center a few days ago, but I'm also going to be giving you my thoughts on what's been happening in the world and what's been happening in the government. And uh, you, you better trust and believe y'all. You will hear a rant and rape from me on that one too. All right, so I am here at the community center. I'm going to start out with some cardio and then I'm going to kick some ass on all of these machines here in about 30 minutes. And then I will be back on the treadmill for about an hour and finishing strong and just burning off some more calories. Okay, I am done working out and oh my God, 75 minutes on the treadmill, 35 minutes circuit training. I burned a shit ton of calories today. I was just told by the flush face. Now I'm heading home and I'm just gonna take it easy before we do the green smoothie of the day. All right, so here's my green smoothie of the day. It consists of one banana, one cup of water, one pear, one Fiji apple, and about a nice big handful of spinach along with a teaspoon of black chia seeds. And this is what's gonna go down the good old fillet today. And it's very sweet and very healthy at the same time. So here we are. We've come to the end of another video. And there was one more thing that I actually wanted to talk about today. And that is number 45's ban on transgender soldiers. Uh, my friends have been asking me how I feel about this. And I feel that trans people if they want to serve in the military they should be able to they are fighting for our freedoms just like any other soldier and they're just as good as any other soldier and personally i don't think having a trans person in the military is actually a distraction if anything if i'm in the foxhole with a trans person and they're just as good of a shot as i am when it comes to the enemy and they're there to save my ass it doesn't matter if they're trans or if they're cisgendered or not. That's really none of my fucking business. Um, so, here's what I also think. Um, this, this is actually very discriminatory, and I think that it is very wrong. As the daughter of a Vietnam veteran, um, I think that this ban on trans people in the military is just shameful. 
Now, my father was not trans, but you see, he was a veteran just like the trans soldiers that are serving now. And unfortunately, now that there is a span, um, a lot of the trans folks who want to serve in the military are going to have to go back inside the closet, which is bullshit. Because... I don't know. It's like a lot of trans people have it really rough out there, especially trans people of color. Um, when there's still that stigma uh, against trans people, especially trans women, and it's really fucked up. And that's, that's my personal opinion. I really honestly think that this ban on trans soldiers in the military is absolutely stupid, is absolutely ridiculous. And I also want to say kudos to the kudos kudos to the generals who were just as flabbergasted as the rest of us because um, when you have some orange little headed fuck weasel sitting on the toilet at three thirty in the morning saying that he's going to make the decisions for you and not consult you, yeah, you have every right to be pissed because those are your soldiers that he's fucking with, guys. So yeah so if you know somebody is trans and they are serving in the military stand by them support them because they need all the support that they can get now I know a lot of you people are like anti-military and blah 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 but you know what our trans soldiers are just as important and they also need to be protected and that is my two cents on the subject so um, if you know of a trans person serving in the military in your life, please show them love, show them support, and thank them for their service just like any other soldier who is serving our country. So that's all I got to say about that. So now that we've come to the end of another video, you guys know what to do. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below, spread the love, hit the share button also like what I'm doing on my channel please hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified as to when I will be uploading a new video which will be every single day um, please ring my bell because you know what I like it when you ring my bell also if you want to be notified notified as to what I'm doing my other social media circles such as uh, Facebook Twitter Instagram and tumblr you can do so all at one place at fatmiddleagedgingerpdx.weebly.com. Well, folks, I am signing off. Um, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for hearing me rant. Um, be good to each other, especially in these trying times right now, because you know what? We're all we've got. So until tomorrow, be sure to stay healthy, stay beautiful, and most of all, be good to each other. Thanks for watching, and I will see you beautiful people tomorrow.